these things as soon as you get into the UK. You need to do these things as soon as you get into the UK. They will help your experience of life in the UK. They will help you build a solid foundation so that moving forward, you won't have any issues or any pause or any disturbances in any moves you want to make as an immigrant in the UK. Hi, my name is Chine. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share videos on immigration, career, finance, mortgages, credit cards, my experience, my lessons, my knowledge, and any vital information about living in the UK as an immigrant. Get your BRP as soon as you land in the UK. Your BRP, which is the Biometric Residence Permit, is the first ID that the UK government gives you that gives you a valid standing as an immigrant in the UK. Your BRP has your details like your name, your date of birth, the amount of hours you can work for, and the validity of the BRP. You need this BRP to do almost anything in the UK. You need this BRP to basically start your life in the UK. So if you don't get it on time, you'll just be slowing yourself down. You need this BRP to get a job, you need this BRP to open a bank account, you need this BRP to do almost anything, any registration, any documents that you need to fill, you will most likely need to use your BRP. You need to get a SIM card as soon as possible. You need to get this SIM card to communicate with your family and friends, maybe the ones you left in Nigeria or the new ones that you're going to make in the UK. You also need your SIM card to communicate with your future employers, your colleagues, your classmates, your, your lecturers, everybody. So you need to get your SIM card as soon as possible so that you can start communicating and getting info on anything you want to do in the UK. You also use the number on your SIM card to register on so many different applications. There are some documents that you need to fill where you need to add your phone number. Your phone number might be used to identify you. Your phone number will be used as a record for you as well. So you need to get your SIM card as soon as possible. You need to register for your NI, GP and electoral rule. Your NI is your national insurance. You need to register for your national insurance because when you get a job, yeah, you are going to be paying a part of your salary as your national insurance. If you don't have your national insurance before you get a job, your employer might get a temporary one for you and then you have to wait 16 weeks before you get the permanent one. But if you don't want to wait for your employer to get the temporary one for you, you can just register by yourself on the HMRC app. Download the app, answer the questions correctly, and then you get your NI on your phone. You need to register with your GP, your general practitioner, which is the doctor. So when you get into the UK, you need to register with your doctor. You need to make sure that they have your health records. And anytime you have any issues, you know where to go, exactly where to go. You know who to call and you know what to do. The electoral road gives you another layer of record as an immigrant in the UK. They have your address and it's another layer of address verification as an immigrant in the UK. Your electoral role also gives you the ability to vote in elections. Yes, as a Nigerian that is an immigrant in the UK, because Nigeria is a Commonwealth country, as soon as you register on the electoral role, you can vote on all the elections in the UK. The electoral role also helps your mortgage application and your credit score. We will discuss that in a subsequent video. Need to get your bank account as soon as possible your bank account is also another layer of record verification for you as an immigrant in the uk also your bank account helps with your employment process yes if you don't have a bank account most employers will not employ you because they will pay you cash and they won't pay your salary into another person's account. So get a bank account as soon as possible. It also helps with your credit score, building your credit score towards whatever you want to do with credit in the future. We'll discuss credit scores in another video. If you know you want to get a job as soon as you get into the UK, if you know you really want to start working and hit the ground running, 
you need to get an immediate start job. Immediate start jobs in the UK are jobs that really don't need any interview or any specific experience in any field. So you basically have to apply, make yourself available, and then you get the job. And apply on Indeed, Flex, Total, and Read Jobs, among so, so many other job websites. But make sure you have your BRP, your bank account, your SIM card, and all the other things I mentioned previously so that you have a good record and you don't have any reason to miss this job. Your provisional license gives you the right to start preparing for your full UK driver's license test. Your provisional license is also another layer of record verification ID verification and address verification as an immigrant in the UK. You need as many layers of record verification as possible when you are an immigrant in the UK so that if you ever need to apply for credit, mortgages and so on, you will have a very good standing. But back to provisional license. Your provisional license will give you the right to practice and to learn how to drive so that you can get your full UK's driver's license. The last but definitely not the least is your LISA account. Your LISA account is a lifetime individual savings account. This account will help you if you are eventually planning to buy a new home in the UK. If you're planning to buy your first home in the UK, you can use your LISA account to get £1,000 free or £2,000 free depending on how you operate the account. You can use this LISA account to get £2,000 free within a year of living in the UK. So all you need to do, as soon as you get here, you open the LISA account and put maybe £1 or £2 in it. Just put money in it so that it will be counting. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video helped you. Feel free to take notes. Feel free to save share drop your comments and topic suggestions in the comment box i'll look through them i'll be responding and we'll work together towards the next video that you want to see thank you for coming to my channel